With the immense growth that the sporting industry is experiencing today, it's easy to understand why inspiring businessmen still want to join the market in spite of how saturated it has become. The only question now is, are they prepared to do everything that they can to change the game? T -O Hey guys, welcome to Creative, where we help athletes, sports marketers, and athletic business owners build legacy brands beyond the game. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we'll be discussing how to build a sports brand from scratch. We'd love for you to tackle that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. The process of building a sports brand can be difficult and confusing for anyone new to the game. Some people think that their vision and love for sports is enough for them to successfully develop a sports brand. When in reality, it takes more than just the regular love for sports to shape a regular business into a passionate brand. And the first step that new business owners have to worry about is understanding what branding really is and what it entails. There's a common misconception around branding and what it entails. Most new business owners believe that branding only revolves around visuals like logos, some colors, and you know, social media and throwing that up here and there. Yes, visual cues like the ones mentioned earlier are some of the crucial elements that create a brand. But the list doesn't really stop there. In reality, branding is meant to be a constant process of image shaping. Meaning, besides using visual cues to affect the way sports fans perceive your brand, there are a handful of actions that you can implement to change the minds of your fan base. Anything that you do to shape the way people see your business is branding. In short, branding isn't really meant to solely revolve around designing the tangibles like your logo. There are other major elements that you need to pay attention to as well. And now that we've explored branding and what it really means, let's go into the actual process of building a sports brand. So you're ready to revamp that brand or you kind of are just getting started on building that sports brand. There's no denying that it sometimes takes an entire village, which we recommend, to build a sports brand. In today's environment filled with fast pacing trends, it's important that business owners build their success on a solid foundation like a well-developed brand. And Brands only become solidified when they've been created carefully and strategically. The process we're about to share with you may seem like it's extensive, but keep in mind that your company needs a concrete brand for it to succeed. So if you really want to survive today's market, you need to be willing to work hard and have those long hours. So. Let's talk about discovering your brand. Every solid sports brand on the market came from one clear idea, a vision that a company wants to achieve. During the initial stages, the brand discovery phase, business owners go through a process of exploring their reasons for being, the values they believe in, the market that they wanna serve, and the value that they offer to build one single identity or vision that they can base their entirety of their brand on. A lot of businesses have made the mistake of building a sports brand without knowing what they really want, what they want to achieve with their brand, a, a problem that brand discovery hopes to solve. During this phase of the process, business owners are tasked to list down the whys of their company the values that they think they can offer to the market and the kind of market they really want to serve. The information gathered and established during these workshops will be used to build your brand and its identity. A lot of companies skip the discovery phase because of how extensive the process 
can be. It requires a lot of brain power and brainstorming time and demands business owners to reflect on what they want to achieve. It may seem like these small details are irrelevant to the success of your business, but in reality, these details are the foundation of your brand. Without them, you'll have a difficult time shaping your why for the brand and who you're really targeting. So during this process, you really wanna figure out your people, your fan base. Once the foundation of your brand are established, the next thing that you need to do is to find your people. It's difficult to build a brand when you don't know who your fan base is. One good way of getting to know your people is by developing hypothetical fan profiles. Fan profiles, more commonly known as you know your customer profiles, are portraits that paint a clear picture of what your fans look like. They often include important information like the demos, the psychographics, and buying patterns and other similar characteristics that will help your brand figure out how to connect and build relationships with them. These profiles act as your main sheet on communicating with your fan base. Keep in mind that in order to successfully change the way people see your brand, you need to learn how to properly convey your message. And the only way that your brand can learn how to talk with its people is really by getting to know them. A lot of brands make the rookie mistake of not spending enough time with their fans. And as a result, they end up implementing marketing strategies that don't really relate to their fans and the problems that their fans go through. If you wanna make sure that your sports brand learns how to target its people, then you need to actually get to know them better. Developing your overall brand identity. Now that we have some of the foundations of your brand all laid down and ready to go, we can now go into the part that most people look forward to, the brand identity building phase. This stage of the process, you should already have a clear idea what your overall brand's identity will somewhat be. Crucial elements like the target fan base, the values it believes in, and possibly even the vision it wants to achieve should already be established or should be in the final stages of development. Why? Because unlike common misconception that logos and color schemes are decided purely on vibes, these elements actually dictate the direction of which your brand will take in terms of your visual identity. For example, if your sports brand believes in the value such as transparency and trust, then it needs to develop a visual identity that conveys both those values. This means that your logo, your color schemes, and even your messaging should represent the informed values. And yes, your brand's overall brand identity also includes the way it communicates with its fan base and how it speaks. A lot of businesses make the mistake of forgetting brand messaging, when in reality, the way we speak to other people is and will always be a part of your overall brand. So before you start the process of developing your brand's identity, make sure that brand messaging is included on the list of crucial elements that you need. Another important ingredient in the recipe of a successful sports brand, often forgotten by most people, is finding the right platforms for their brand. Sure. Thanks to the growing popularity of omni-channel marketing, having an account on every single platform available on the internet has become almost a tradition. But just because the rest of the world tells you to be everywhere means you'll be spreading yourself thin. While major sports brands do maintain online presence on all major platforms, there are certain places that they prioritize more than the rest of their platforms. For example, sports brands that carry e-commerce prioritize their sites more than their social media accounts. Sure, their Instagram feed brings prospect leads to their e-commerce website, but all of the hard work they put into their feed will be for nothing if their website is not up to par with the expectations of their fan base. Now, your main platform will heavily depend on details like where your fan base spends more of their time, the kind of goals you're trying to achieve, and more. This means that you will always go back to the foundations that you created during brand discovery to look at the kinds of content and the places you should be posting. 
because as we've mentioned earlier, these elements act as the main foundation of your brand for everything that you need to do in the future. T. If you think that the process is over, well, sorry to say this, but you're wrong. There's so much more that you need to know in order to build a strong and lasting sports brand. Learn how you can further strengthen your brand's presence in the game with the help of the right marketing campaign and how to actually find them in our next video on how to build a successful sports brand. If you wanna learn more about the process of brand building, make sure that you check the rest of our videos out on branding, web development, social media, et cetera, et cetera. We hope you guys love today's video. And if you want to learn more about the great solutions that can truly change the game, again, don't forget to tackle that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps out the channel. Now this is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport. <laughs>